Sitting at rank four for the first time. Any tips to get to legend? Um, I don't know. Just try not to get stressed out or freaked out. Like just treat it like don't look at the um, don't look at your rank and treat it as like a rank that you're at. Just treat it as a game, and that'll help you play better. Because when you look at oh man, I'm playing at rank two, going against rank one with legend card back, I'm freaking out. Nah, just treat it like any other game. Just treat it like it's an it's just an opponent. Have like every other fucking paladin or whoever you're playing against, and uh, get the job done. I want to keep Shadow Bolt, but at the same time, I want to um, look for like Doomsayers and stuff. And Defile's good too, but like, eh, I'll keep a Shadow Bolt and that's it. How many wins do you have on Hearthstone? I'm not sure. Holy shit. All right, sorry for all the uh, follows I missed. Last game was really intense. So we got Listen, Vivi, Pep, Um, PP. <laughs> PP Fifi, hopefully I said that right. Uh, Sweet Horvit, uh, Jail, and Void. Thank you for the follows and welcome to the shack. I'm glad you guys are here. 125 year, what in tarnations, guys? What is going It has to be because it's a Saturday. There's no, like, I, most of the time I don't stream Saturdays. So I think that this is the only difference in this stream than any other stream is this is a Saturday. So apparently, Saturday is the day to stream. <laughs> this was a very awesome doomsayer by the way the only time he can ever kill doomsayer is if he has the um rallying blade because then they buffs his one one because it has divine shield still and uh, it's a pretty big deal are you fucking kidding me did he hear me did he secretly hear that i had that that th this allows him to kill my shit <laughs> it's the second I said that the card got played. He secretly hurt me, man. That feels bad. <laughs> he secretly hurt me. Yo, Meritism and uh, Cavelli. Thank you for the follows. Glad you guys are here as well. Oh man, this board is getting pretty big, boys. Where's that? Where's the doomsayer treachery at? <laughs> where's that doomsayer treachery at? I wonder if he yeah, he might Aldor this, but I think he's gonna kings a dude. What? Ah, oh, Jesus. Taking critical damage, boys. We are taking critical damage. Well, obviously, like, everything has fucking Divine Shield or some shit. And this says, after your friendly moves in the Divine Shield, you get... So I guess I kill this, right? Like, what else am I supposed to do here? I guess I could coin Doomsayer. I need to get this board back, man. Quick Frost Nova Dooms there. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be the dream? Like, he can get, like, this may have looked like super defensive, but like, we're at 17 life and we get initiative next turn, so it's just better we do this. Cause like next turn we still have like tap into Twilight Drake, stuff like that. Again, Gul'dan wins games. I play Gul'dan, I win this game. The problem is, it's just aggro, man. Like this deck has a really hard time against aggro starts, um, especially ones that we don't get off like a good Doomsayer. And like Hell Hellfire doesn't even help the board that much. Cause like two of his minions have Divine Shield, and then even then when we pop the Divine Shields, his cards get even bigger. So we know he has Steed because he just targeted his guy on 6. So this is going to be a Steed so he can get initiative because he's going to have a 2-6. Um, yeah, so he just wants a 2-6 on the board because now he can Bone Mare this guy. I really don't want him to Bone Mare that guy. So I might just go Shadow Bolt Drain Soul. Because let's say we let's say we allow this to get Bone Mared and it goes to 6 attack. He swings face and then he could swing again. We would have developed like a Twilight Drake, and then we have to siphon soul that, and the Twilight Drake can't even kill the Bone Mare. 
So it's almost 100% correct to always kill this. So there's no bone mare target. Because turn seven, and these two cards on the left of his hand have been sitting there for a while. So he just hero powers, and hopefully this, uh, if it's a king's, it's gonna be Inquisitor. This all dies, this all dies to Hellfire. <clears throat> Oh, oh man, he played around Hellfire. That's really nice for him. And there's no way that we can um, Hellfire and then also play the Dread. So if we just play the Dread, we have two mana left over, and that doesn't really work. If we go Hellfire, we get one minion left over, and then we can play Twilight Drake. And Twilight Drake has four attack. This is going to get Bone Mared, so it's going to be at five. So I guess we could trade there, then play this. I guess. Oh shit, we don't have enough. I'm an idiot. All right, my bad. Rob fucked up. I get this gets bone mared now. I lose. What was I thinking? So that this was so much better. We should have just played this guy. Um, holy shit, guys. Eight days. Eduardo, Con, and Mark. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chat, guys. Glad to have you. You guys' support's crazy. He's, <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy today. You guys are crazy. Oh yeah, I'm thinking of, we should definitely add a Black Knight to our deck. So I'm gonna take out Elise and put in a Black Knight. Oh, what are you guys, why are you guys telling me what's in his hand? I thought you were just guessing that he had Black, no, 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 guys, guys, guys. You're being sniped. Ah, uh, whatever. That's not cool, man. That's not cool, man. You're being sniped, Rob. That feels bad. So if we can draw Gul'dan, we can win. That's our only out. All right, Gul'dan I don't think is uh, an out anymore. Twisting Nether with this at one. We've got nothing with, uh... yeah. Eh. Hey, I don't mind putting in Black Knight. I should have played Abyssal. I agree. I made a mistake. For some reason, I thought we had enough to Hellfire Drake. Yeah, that was my mistake. As soon as I did it, I was like, all right, whoops. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take out Elise, and we're going to put in a uh, Knight. There's too many, uh, too many taunts out there. Yeah, guys, don't tell me what's in another streamer's hand. That's that's messed up. If they're, if they're cheating, uh, and they're looking at my hand, let them cheat. Um, but don't tell me uh, what they have. If they want to cheat off me, that's fine. But I don't want to know anything about them. Oh no, another pirate warrior. Yo, what's up, OP, uh, Savior, Amy, uh, GW, uh, OG, Jenk, and uh, A was good fam. Thank you guys for the follows. Dude, this is fucking crazy, guys. What is up with today? Or like, where are these follows coming from? <laughs> like, this is so unusual. Holy shit, guys. This is crazy. What's up, Cole? So if he's Pirate Warrior, we're like, this is the worst matchup. Oh, jeez. He holds weapon. This is good. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to take full advantage of this. I'm taking full advantage of this. We just got to get on the board as quick as possible. That's the only way this deck wins. Is far better evening up the sniping? No. 
If he, I, just because someone else cheats, man, doesn't mean I want to cheat. That's that's not cool. I want to win a game because I uh, outplayed my opponent. I don't want to win a game because I know my opponent's hand. That's not cool. California. This is going to be great next turn. <laughs> Doesn't need the Millennium Eye. Should have seven seven. <clears throat> this is a really scary game. This is very spooky right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really worried about sniping a sniper. Like, it's not. Like, whatever. As long as he doesn't have double mortal strike, we're all right. Oh shit, son. Your magic oh no. Spellbreaker off the top, baby. All right, let's hope he doesn't have another spellbreaker. Jesus. Oh, he's attacking? What the fuck? So he's at he's at 18, right? So we have 16 7 yeah, so we just win. Holy shit. This is not a game that we're supposed to win. Where did all these pop We haven't played this against a single druid all day today, guys. This is very unusual. I'm not sure, well, I don't think I should change anything for um, Warrior. Like the only thing I can think about is putting in two gluttonous oozes because even Paladins are really popular right now. But I never take out Geist, I can't. We could take out Black Knight. Yeah, we could take out a Black Knight for a uh, another gluttonous ooze. But then that kind of hurts our uh, or match up a little bit. <clears throat> I think it might be worth it. Two glutaneous oozes. Because against control, I don't think we're ever worried. But like against Paladin and oh, now we go against Druid. Now that I take out Black Knight, <laughs> lol. All right, so if he's aggro, we just look for Doomsayer and Hellfire. That's like legit all we do. 
Oh, wow. If he's Jade, he's going to get double gianted in the face. Ooh. Feels good, man. Feels real nice. What's your favorite deck to play? Uh, old control warrior, man. The only time you innervate out Jade Blossoms is if your hand contains a wild growth. Let's see if that's the case. Does he, I, I guess two Jade Blossoms. I take that back. He has to have another Jade Blossom here. If he hero powers, this guy's kind of retarded. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, man. You're a little retarded. Just a little retarded, though. Just enough. Next turn, we Doomsayer. Oh, he got the other Jay Blossom. How lucky. Alright, this going off is really important. <sighs> It's going off is, uh, because it gets a Doomsayer on a, or a Giant on a clear board. And then, uh, now that we have, uh, more viewers, uh, and I, when I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, there's only, like, 40 of you guys, but now there's a little bit more. Um, does he Wrath that? Wow. Is he Wrathing for cards? No way, because he would have just gone face. Okay. Um. Whew. Oh, the stream schedule is going to be changing a little bit, guys. Um, so expect a video later tonight or tomorrow um, going over the new stream schedule and kind of like what I'm going to do um, with school and stuff. Because obviously, um, with school coming up, we're going to have to change a few things. We're going to have to change a few things, chat. So we actually could tap and play giant. So he's gonna wanna kill this 8-5, right? <laughs> I don't think there's a way around ignoring an 8-5. Unless he thinks face is the place. Actually, he might go face is the place here. There's a high prop, but there's a high chance he might go face. If he does, yeah, punishments can in fact be made. All right, good boy. That's what I like to see. Oh shit, a doomsayer. So we actually have to silence that. Oh. He's ruined my plan. Fuck, man. Your magic shall not oh, man, but this guy's gonna, he could die to the um, ultimate infestation. That's really bad. Yeah, it's bad. Another Doomsayer. That's fine. I'm just going to keep tapping, man. I need Twisting Nethers and Gul'dan. Well, he's going to Ultimate Infestation the 8-5. So I definitely want to tap, of course. And then we're going to Shambler. We're going to trade into this. We're going to trade into this. And we're just gonna hope he doesn't have ultimate infestation. Cause that card's broken. It's probably this one right here. These one of these two. Yeah, there it is. Fuck that card, man. Fuck that coup, man. So I really want to play this Geist. Mm-hmm. That reduced quite a few cards. He had, I think he had both of them in his hand. No, no, because he had, he had three cards, played one, and then drew, which means seven. So we just we got one. There was one Jade Idol in his hand. Well, 
We still haven't drawn a Twisting Nether, which is really bad. Because that's how we get rid of big jades. Big boy jades. So Fandral Nourish, Fandral Swipe, Fandral Wrath, Fandral Wrath. Okay. Missing a quite a few follows. Who left off? So I think I left off at, uh, we got Elena Jones. Thank you for the follow. Marcus Hill, uh, Reward, DNA, and Fab Amagul. Thank you for the follows, guys. Much appreciated. Welcome to the shack. Get you guys a seat on the hardwood mahogany. Place your bosom down. All right, so can we get a good defile here? So we trade one. We already have a one, so we need a two. Can we bring anything down to two? I don't think we really need to. Just gonna control the board. <sighs> a bosom? No, a bosom is your butt. Almost 100% sure on this, unless I've been lied to my entire life. Bosom. No. What is a bosom? I'm sure in different countries, maybe it's different things. I always, oh God, this guy make me, <laughs> there's a meme. I always thought the word bosom was another word for butt. Was another word for, is it not? I don't know, man. Maybe an English major, uh, bosom is your chest? What the hell, why would they do that? Bottom, bosom, butt, bosom. Dude, they're a bunch of hypocrites, man. They need to figure this shit out. We have the technology. Okay, um. We have the nether, so that's always gonna be there. I really don't want to blast crystal potion this, but I really don't see why we wouldn't. Is there, if we tap into anything, does this solve anything? Shambler's good. Man, these two glutaneous oozes are doing work this game, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's really not bad. I mean, getting, like, we play against Warrior, it's good. If we play against Rogue, it's not terrible. It's not great, though. Play against Paladin, it's good. Uh, mages could run Medivh. You know, that could be interesting. Um, hunters, maybe they play the Eagle Horn Bow, so that's good. Not that there's a lot of hunters out there, but still. Uh, am I missing something? Uh... Shaman, they have the Jade Claws. Every single Shaman's running Jade Claws, so I don't think it's necessarily that bad right now. Good, good. Yes! Overextend, baby. Alright, so is there any way that we can clean up this board? Oh, alright, what about this? So this trade's here. So let's think of how Defile's gonna work, right? So we go Blood Mage, Defile. Well, we trade this first, and then this goes to two. So Blood Mage, Defile, kills this, then it kills this, and then it does four, and nothing's really at four. Well, let's, oh my gosh, is this a full clear right now? There's no way. So trade goes to two. Blood Mage, this goes to two, this goes to three, this is at three, Three, then this is at four, this dies, and then we don't have enough for five. But we have two defiles. Should I just nether this? Eh. 
It was too much math. I think that, I think there was actually a way for us to double defile that. He has, I think, one more jade, right? Because his last jade was a nine, an eight, yeah, yeah. He has an, up to a nine nine, so he has one more. He has a. He already played double behemoth. He already played. I think he has one more jade essence, jade idol, jade jade dude, jade spirit. There it is. Defiled would have cleared. I just didn't want to do Blood Mage Defile and then it not do that. <laughs> uh oh, this is bad. We need to draw our Gul'dan. I don't want to tap. It's unfortunate that we keep seeming to like not draw dual or uh, Gul'dan until like the very end. And it's like one of the most important cards in the deck. I can't tap or I'll die. Because he still has a, I think he still has double swipe. <laughs> he might just attack my face and double swipe. Because <laughs> I, I can't, I can't draw any healing, man. Yeah, that was double swipe. And that feels terrible. Like I said, even with Geist, it's not like, like an automatic win versus these guys. Feels bad, man. So even like. If we wouldn't have nethered, like, the game was still over. Like, whether we nethered or defiled, we had still lost. Because no Gul'dan, man. 